Hi again, this is James from World War II Jeep and Rifle. Another non-World War II video for you guys today. This is uh, how to make a Prick 77 rechargeable battery for your Vietnam era backpack radio. Here's what you need to do this project. First, you need an old magnesium battery. Corroded inside, dead, but you need the parts. You need a soldering iron, solder, wire strippers, a pair of scissors, crimpers, some uh, crimp ends, which uh, will allow you to connect your new wires to parts of the old battery. Some wire, electrical tape, a little bit of foam for shimming, and a PowerSonic model PS13, sorry, PS1238, 12 volt battery, rechargeable. This is, uh, this is what you need to make the project work, so I'll just get right into it. First of all, open up the magnesium battery. This is what it looks inside. You do not need this box. This is the only thing you need the scissors for, and that is to cut this little bag open. Okay. This cardboard outside box is important. You must save this, so we'll be careful as we unwrap the rest of it here. Um, it feels like there's some swelling of the battery inside, so I'm going to be somewhat careful here. I'm going to have to re-glue this side of the battery, potentially. Okay, so I'm sliding the old battery out of the box, <clears throat> and here's what's inside. This end cap has a very important connector to keep, okay? The wires going to it, not so important. You can cut it right off. Here's the old battery. Let's just do some forensics here. Look inside. Oh, not, not looking good. You can see a lot of corrosion in those old cells. That's, that is a completely dead battery. Com useless to us except for the box and this end cap. These are the important pieces to keep. Next, we're going to remove the old wires. There's a little grommet, kind of holds the wires in place inside this end cap. And uh, if you forget the orientation of this connector socket, you can always look at the schematic on the top of the cardboard box. This is how it will fit. And the schematic will tell you where your 14 volts or the red lead from your rechargeable battery and the ground goes. So hang on to that, set those aside. Try to do this without a full set station set up. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to desolder these old wires. My soldering iron hot. Some fresh solder on it. Okay, as soon as that heats up, the old wire comes out. Make sure we got a good hole. Yep, good hole. And do the old positive wire. These crimpers are just weighting it, weighting it down so that I have some resistance to go against tugging on the wire. We got the iron. Let the old solder. This third wire, this little one, is a three volt wire for the Prick 25. And we don't need that at all. If you're doing a Prick 77, then this pro uh, project will work out for you. But if you're doing a Prick 25, I don't, uh, don't have a solution for getting the three volt power rail, which powers up the vacuum tube in the last days of the RF amplifier. So this, this project is only good for Prick 77. Okay. 
Okay, old wires are off. Here's the connector. Now what you need to do is uh, get, get a crimper, get some ends. <clears throat> and uh, I've already done this and you can you can buy these at auto parts store or something like that. So crimp, crimp you uh, some connectors on about a one foot piece of black wire stranded and a one foot piece of red wire stranded. The color doesn't really matter, but it helps you keep things uh, the right polarity. Um, and I've already pre-trimmed these to be just the right size. You, you can use longer <clears throat> or you can trim to fit like I've done. Okay, next you need to strip the ends of these wires. Prepare them for being soldered. Okay, once again, you can make sure you get the correct orientation. We'll do the ground wire first, which is to the right. And as I flip the connector over to the left, flip it through the hole, hold it down. Just using this battery for some resistance. solder on my iron. Got flux to clean off the tip a bit. You want a nice wet solder joint. Let that cool down. Good solder. All right, let's get this schematic out again. Make sure you're doing this right. 14 volts goes to the bottom, and that's the top when I flip it over. Good solder. Okay. Then this connector will fit back into the end cap. And again, we have to make sure that it's oriented correctly so that everything fits. So when it goes in the box, the end cap will go like this and needs to match the schematic on the box. <clears throat> then going to replace the grommet just to kind of keep some strain relief off of the wires. And it's a good idea at this point to tape this connector plate down. You can see how it's loose. And I'm avoiding the power and ground connectors, but it's okay if you cover up some of the other holes, just not the, the D-shaped guide pin hole. Just 
strap it all the way around there. And then, aha, uh -huh. scissors. Okay. <clears throat> Remove the safety caps that are sh that the uh, battery is shipped with. You can connect power from the ground that we just soldered to the battery. Okay. And then I'm going to wrap some more electrical tape to connect this end cap with the rechargeable battery. I'm going to do two wraps just to get a little bit of strength. Avoiding the connector pins. Okay. And how about for good measure, there's some safety wraps here around our power and ground connections. Just to keep some of the wiring out of the way, we're going to put a, sh a piece of styrofoam on top of this to shin it into the box so that it doesn't fit loosely, it fits snugly. And the tape will also help keep some of this wiring out of the way. Okay, so I'll take in. <clears throat> we're going to reuse this box. Um, I'll add a bead of glue later so that this box stays together but for now as I'm showing you how to do this project I stick a piece of styro styrofoam down in the bottom to shim that side <clears throat> then I'm going to uh, put a piece of styrofoam on the top of the battery to keep it snug in the box important end cap and uh, let's do a, a quick voltage test with the old Simpson Put this down here so ground power and I'm getting a nice 12 volt reading 13 good stuff all right so, you can use this when it dies. You can uh, make, craft some plugs to go straight into this connector and uh, use your wall charger for the, for the fill cell rechargeable battery and charge it back up. You do not have to waste D cells every single time or some other more expensive power supply for your PIC 77. I hope you guys learned something. This is a great little project and really will be a, a convenience for you as you uh, are out and about with your vintage radios. See you guys next time.